welcome back. Today we are starting a week of running. I would be running either way, but I'm going to take you with me through an updated half marathon training routine, showing you how often I'm running, the types of runs I'm doing. We are going to talk about everything. Yesterday, I ran my first race of the season. It was a 10K. I signed up kind of on a whim. I went in with zero expectations. My only hope was to finish in under 50 minutes, which felt kind of ambitious, but we finished in 47 minutes and 17 seconds, which was such a huge, sweet, unexpected win, but also proof that the training is working. Hello. So I'd normally take a day off after a harder run, but today we're trying 30 to 45 minutes easy because I am fighting to get up to four runs per week, which I know we've been talking about for a while now, but consistency takes time it takes trial it takes error it takes more trial more error i think the mistake i've been making is i've been waiting to find time for that fourth run which just doesn't happen there is no time unless you make it so this week a little bit less scientific in the strategy but if i have energy i'm gonna do it not escape the hills buddy how is it that i am always running uphill and never downhill the reason i'm adding the second run is because i know my weakness as a runner is my aerobic base i am very strong i am a great sprinter i'm good at short distances i know my strengths but obviously that will only get you so far quite literally it was only a matter of time all right buddy and done mixing up some element i do not pack hydration for shorter runs i know it's a hydration vest i use it to carry my things so right now we are having some element citrus salt which is a lemon lime kind of vibe if you're not familiar element is a science-backed blend of electrolytes that contains all the minerals you need without any of the artificial sweeteners or ingredients you don't and contrary to popular belief you don't need to be constantly drinking while goals like drinking a gallon of water per day are well-intentioned they're not necessarily science-backed your body is incredibly smart. There have been years and years and years of evolution to develop your thirst mechanisms. And so oftentimes just drinking when you're thirsty is sufficient. Drinking more than this can actually dilute the minerals in your body, resulting in muscle cramps, fatigue, headaches, not to mention constantly peeing, which is very irritating, especially if you're running. I am so grateful to Element for partnering with me on today's video. They have done an offer for our community where when you shop via my link, they will also send you a free sample pack to try all of their flavors. So if you're kind of on the fence, you're like, you know what? Maybe citrus salt sounds good to me. I'm going to order that now, but that other flavor looks really good too. Order via the link. I'll put it down below. You can try them all out. Definitely let me know which you like the best. I go back and forth on the fruit flavors, but one that is always, 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 always a hitter for me is the chocolate salt, which I really need to show you how I make that with my coffee. Today we have got a terrible, disgusting, absolutely brutal run. We are gonna have fun, but we will be doing goal pace intervals. So running at my goal half marathon pace, the plan is to do a 25 minute warm up at an easy intensity, followed by three by two mile repeats with a three and a half minute jogging recovery in between and then finish with a cool down again at an easy pace. So we're starting with a longer warm up because I am not a get up and go kind of runner. I do my mobility and activation off the treadmill that I always take at least 10 minutes to settle into my breathing and relax my body. I am quite anxious about this run. These are the longest repeats I've ever done, but I'm trusting in the process because I am convinced that 95% of my progress, at least recently, is from tempo runs and longer interval training. Final stretch. <sighs> Tommy's definitely grumbling. Hmm. Interval one, two miles at what is honestly 
a very aggressive pace, but my motto for this run is that I am not afraid. We are one of three down. All right, interval two done. I am unwell. Uh, I feel like I've been going through labor. I'm not even kidding you. If you're preparing for childbirth, pregnancy, at any point in your life, the tummy issues I'm having today of all days are like, it's like there is something fighting to get out of me. That was definitely TMI. interval I took not one not two but three bathroom breaks and I'm not happy about it but it just kind of got to the point where it's a bit funny I took Pepto on the last one so I'm hoping that does something but we made it through our intervals um really really had to fight for it So I was pretty frustrated with how today's workout went. The first repeat was hard, but I felt like I caught my stride going into the second until my stomach started turning, which made it difficult to focus on my running it because every step felt risky. IPS girlies, you get me. So I put a few strides on the end of my training, basically a rapid acceleration and then coming right back to easy running and uh, we'll hope for a better speed workout next week. Welcome to our long run. Today is very much so, and I need to get up and moving day. I've been taking it too quick, but we have company coming over and I gotta get back to make dinner. Today we're supposed to be running 13 miles at an easy to moderate pace, but truthfully, I think I'll probably end up finishing this on the treadmill. <laughs> so this was a messy run. Um, we have a lot of these, I would say lately, but in general, since my postpartum return to running journey. One thing I wish I knew as a newbie is that if you're doing an easy run, especially a long run, walk breaks, pauses, interruptions, they do not matter as long as you get the miles done. We did it, or we're about to do it. Our fourth run of the week, depending on how you count the days of the week. Getting into a routine is challenging. There's a lot of trial and error. It is not always a linear journey. It absolutely has not been for me with running. And I, I have trouble admitting that, like ad admitting as if it's some big secret, right? Like I even have trouble saying that. I feel like the words get stuck when I have to say that I'm struggling with something or that I'm trying or that it's taking me more effort than maybe I feel like it should be. I have been weightlifting so long. I've been weightlifting at this point for over 10 years which is crazy to say out loud but I truthfully haven't struggled with weightlifting in many many years you know I mastered the form of the exercises a long time ago I've tried so many different styles of training I've really dialed in like I know what I need to do to get the benefits that I want from strength training I know where it fits in my routine I know how I enjoy training like I know weightlifting inside and out. And so maybe it was my mistake with running, just thinking, okay, well, I'm really good at fitness. This is gonna be easy, but it is very much so not easy for me. And saying that it is not easy for me is also not easy for me because I am self-conscious about that. I'm, I'm self-conscious about that, not just with fitness, but I feel like with a lot of, a lot of things. I don't know if that's part of having a like type A personality. I don't even know if that's a personality type. I feel like we've, branched off into all the, the acronym personality test types. But if you've watched my videos for a while, you get the vibe. I like to be in control of things. I like my lists, I like my systems. I'm very engineering minded. So when something does not just click, it sets off all the alarm bells in my brain, it gives me a lot of anxiety, and ultimately has probably kept me from progressing with a lot of things. So one thing I do like about running is that it's this kind of isolated hobby that I have that's separate from the other 
other parts of my life. And it allows me to push myself outside of my comfort zone in this kind of controlled way. But the confidence I get from it definitely translates over to other areas of life. We just went on a real ramble before our run. I am absolutely, I'm not procrastinating this run, okay? I'm just very proud of myself that we are getting closer to four runs in the week, even though it's been quite the journey. And I'm proud of myself for being okay with trying and with struggling and not just quitting the moment that something is harder than I feel like it should be. Are you the most patient with mommy? Also, it's hair wash day, so I don't mind that it's raining. <laughs> Just beyond halfway. I feel like nobody knows what to do with this weather because I can definitely smell somebody barbecuing like burgers. And I'm so excited for dinner.